Vaikuchi ka Kasa, Vaikuchi ki Fate. Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining. We're just waiting a little bit for more folks to join us um, and then also for our debate coaches to join so we can meet them as well. Thank you for joining. Hope everyone's doing well. starting off soon. I think we have both here, so just getting them joined in. Thank you all for joining. We'll be starting shortly. Hello. Can you hear Hello. me? Hello. Can you hear me? I can. Yes, I can hear you. Awesome. I think we should hear just a like, bit. the nice. Yeah, we're waiting on Osman, and then we'll go ahead and get started. Thank you Perfect. for joining everyone. While we wait, I will ping Osman as well. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Hey. I think we have everyone. Sorry about the technical. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, I can hear you now. Sounds good. Hey, All right, let's go ahead. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome everyone. Thank you again for joining. Um, we can go ahead and wait about another minute uh, just to let some more folks join. Um, but in the meantime, I'll go ahead and give a brief introduction. Um, so welcome to Vod Vivad, our first live event on Instagram. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about our program today. And also you'll get to meet our lovely debate coaches you see right now on the screen. Um, my name is Nanki. I'll be moderating the, moderating the conversation. Um, in a second, we'll have some brief introductions. But before that, I'll just give you an idea of what our conversation is going to look like today. Um, so we'll ha have some questions focusing around program details, more about the program and what you can expect, how to get involved. And then also, we'll close it off with a Q&A um, from our audience. Um, and so with Without further ado, let's go ahead and start with Usman. Um, if you could tell us a little bit more about yourself and how you get in, got involved with Bot. Yeah, sure. Sure. So um, I so I graduated from college in 2019. Um, I currently work in engineering. Uh, I work in tech, software engineering. Um, so I guess my kind of history is that. Uh, I grew up going to Gurungan Institute of Sikh Studies, which kind of instilled in me kind of an interest in like Sikh you know, history and sick music and kind of everything uh, sick key related kind of. That was my first exposure. And then uh, along through that, I kind of was able to do a speech competition, was able to read books, and that kind of uh, inspired a lifelong just kind of passion for sick history, history in general, learning. Um, and so when I 
was in col when I was in high school, I joined um, I joined a few debate clubs. I did a little model UN uh, that wasn't really my thing, and then I did policy debate. I also joined Lincoln Douglas debate, which I really liked. I really enjoyed my time. Uh, that was so that was a lot of high school, and then I continued a bit into college. So I did a parliamentary debate in college. I debated for a year and a half around, um, which was basically going to different schools across the country debating. Um, and then I also, while well, I was at UVA, I joined the Jefferson Literary uh, Debating Society, um, where I actually gave my speech on kind of an intersection of what I was interested in, which is AI and debate. So, um, yeah, so I mean, it, I think that's kind of my journey uh, professionally slash um, academically, um, where I, around COVID time, um, I think we, I decided just we're then Guru Angad Institute for Sikh Studies, wanted to just run a small debate uh, camp with around with a bit younger groups in Vaad Vaad, uh, so like middle school kids. Uh, it went really well. It was really nice. It was a really good way to teach kids kind of the basics of debate. And we just kind of thought about the idea and kind of expanding, the, growing it out, flushing it out a bit more. And um, yeah, so that's kind of my background, what got me interested. And, and yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Osman. Uh, next, we'll go to Divjo. Same question. Uh, Divjit, are you on mute? I'm not able to hear I you. I am I'm on mute. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to rewind. I just, just was saying big thanks to Nishikami TV for uh, having us and allowing us to share a little bit more about season one of Vod Vod. My name is Divjot Singh. I background, I'm a technology security professional, uh, work day-to-day uh, -day in a policy role in the federal government. Uh, recently, with my master's degree from Georgetown, technology, so cybersecurity, uh, AI, uh, and foreign policy. I've been able to use this role uh, in or use this background in a variety of government. Uh, more personal, born and raised in the DC, the Northern Virginia area specifically, like as men. I uh, also attended uh, the Clinic Institute of Six Studies uh, based in Northern Virginia as a student for many, many years, so much as, as it relates to uh, both the Versa, uh, uh, music, and the size and was also lucky enough to have gone back and taught for a couple of years as well. Um, also as a student, really shaped by my time participating in uh, Himkun speech competitions, Himkun Kirtan competitions, going to Gurmuth uh, summer camps uh, in the DMV area along the East Coast. And so uh, have a lot of those uh, experiences uh, have shaped both me wanting to participate in this opportunity uh, but also who I am and where I am today and being able to contribute back to that ecosystem and uh, in a small way uh, has been a, a big motivator. I think the, the, the other big thing I will, I'll just flag is when Usman reached out to me with this idea and wanting to take it to the next level, really was drawn to the mission. And I think, and we're going to get into that as we kind of go through this IG Live, but two things in, in particular. One, it's for the youth, by the youth. And so I think we can see for those who are tuning in, uh, this call is uh, run by large, largely youth, uh, yeah, younger folks, I, I guess. We're, we're empowered by a really, really talented team um, at uh, Vod Vivad, but this is primarily a student-driven effort. Um, and the, the, the second piece is this debate show concept is going to allow both the coaches, the participants, all involved, really, to engage with Sikhi in a more meaningful uh, and practical way. And, and I think that's really, really exciting. So I know we're going to dive into that, that a little bit later. Um, I will be serving as a showrunner uh, with Usman uh, for season one. I believe you are muted now. Thank you for that. Sorry about that. Um, thank you guys for your introductions. I'll give a brief introduction about myself. Um, I'm currently a student, neuroscience student at UVA. 
Um, I have a passion for journalism, strategic communication, and graphic design, and so excited to bring that skill set to the team here. Um, I've been a part of multiple award-winning publications um, and also involved in um, graphic design for those uh, journals, so excited to kind of channel that to Vod for Vod. Um, and yeah, let's, without further ado, let's jump into kind of the meat of our conversation. Uh, our first category, as I mentioned, is program details. Um, and so this is a question for you both. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about why this uh, program is centered around debate? Um, and let's start with Div Sure. sure. Happy to uh, take a first stab at that question and then Osma fill in the gaps. You know, why is this program centered around debate? I think the, the, the word that comes to mind that we've really rallied uh, our marketing, our uh, genesis of the Constitution, the mission statement is around the word vichad. And when we look in the Mahan Kosh, it literally means to get to the essence of the truth. And that you know, conceptually seems like a very abstract process and something that's super far out of reach. Uh, but uh, from talking with some of the folks that helped us to organize this. Um, and what we're hoping is this uh, process of seeking out the truth. Um, it's a gradual process. It's iterative. It requires persistence, um, you know, continuous discipline to just keeping at it. And in the Sikh faith, debate is one of the many vehicles where we can engage or immerse ourselves in vijad to get to that truth. There's a shabba, there's a bhangti that comes to mind. Harka belovana, belovo meri pai. Sej belovo, jaise tat na jai. And so it's this idea of continue to keep at it, continue to keep at it of seeking out that tr truth, whatever it may be. Um, and so th with that with that driver, that really sets the foundation for why debate. Um, there are many examples of vichar being cited um, in Guru Granth Sahib Ji, the very first uh, Bani in our central scripture, uh, our Guru is the Japji Sahib. And one bhangti that comes to mind is Amrat Villa Sachna over Diyai Vichar. Um, the very last Bani in, in, in Guru Granth Sahib Ji, um, and this is explained more thoroughly on our website, is Thal Vichtan Vastu Peyo, Sat Santok Vicharo, Amrit Nam Thakur Ka Peyo, Jiska Sabs Adaro. And this Shabbat emphasizes the importance that dwelling on the three key values, the pursuit of truth, contentment, and vichar, or discussion or reflection, we can achieve this truth, achieve this purpose. Of it. And so um, just, just as a background, this is, sort of the, the inspiration or the foundation uh, for wh why we've, we've chosen debate. And all these examples that I've given can be applied um, in the personal or the micro sense, uh, our own individual journey uh, experiencing the Sikh faith, but also a more macro example. And so looking at examples from our Sikh month. And so uh, the Sith Gosh, for example, when Guru Nanak Ji met with the Siths uh, in the Himalayas and through a series of questions and answers, that the Siddhs post uh, to Guru Nanak Dev Ji, uh, the, the writings uh, that were compiled by Guru Arjan Dev Ji, our fifth guru, contrast uh, the philosophy of Guru Nanak Dev Ji Sikhi with the philosophy of the Siddhs. And we get, get so much out of there. Um, another example that comes to mind uh, is the develop of the Sikh Retnama. Uh, that's the document that serves as the code of conduct for all Sikhs today. And when you dive a little bit deeper into how that document was produced, it went through underwent years of revision, edits, drafts, discussion amongst prolific six scholars and leaders uh, in the early 1900s. And so there's just two examples. There's many, many examples um, that we can point to. I'll just close with saying that you know, there's no way uh, our team expects to engage Vichad on the same level as some of the examples that I've cited. But through this effort, Vaad Vaad is maybe 0.5 or 1% uh, able to walk on a similar path to kind of meaningfully seek the truth in the different questions that we're going to select uh, and, and, and post to the participants. So I will close there and uh, talk to Osman. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, they've just really covered a lot of the bases, right? Like, I think, um, I, I, I think to me, the term debate, it kind of creates fear sometimes in, in our community. Um, debate, like it's associated with like negative feelings and like people yelling at each other and controversial topics. And that's not really what we're going for here. We're not trying to like go for the topics. Just I think like some people might get tempted. Ooh, is it? We're not touching topics for the sake of, uh, you know, controversy. Um, but I think we have to keep in mind within like Sikh history, um, 
reality is like when, for example, when Guru Nanak Dev Ji went on his Udasis or when any of the Gurus went on their travels, they were discoursing with people, actively discoursing, debating, whether it was with yogis, whether it was with pundits, whether it was with, with uh, Aziz, across, you know, the world. These were discourses, these were kind of debates, and it's, you know, what we want to teach is something, we have five values, um, to kind of instill what we, we believe in, and uh, one, one value we really believe in is having humility, too, because I think one thing is, we want to, I think, in our community, and maybe even broadly across America, maybe across, you know, Western side, maybe just worldwide, I think there's a big perception these days that to disagree um, or to with someone means conflict. And we want to kind of show that, no, like we want to teach kids how to disagree with people, but in kind of an intentional and a meaningful way to produce a better, to get closer to the truth for everyone. Our biggest value is sat, truth, and that's really what we believe in. Uh, we don't, we're kind of trying to, like some people are about debate for the sense sake of like, you know, like, you know, just you have to do rhetoric for the sake of rhetoric. Our, our focus is debate is a way for us to get to the center of truth, whatever that truth is, however complicated that process is um, for and through, for both sides. And so, um, yeah, and additionally, I think when we will also, we can also, we'll also clarify this, but the debate we're talking about is not really like the televised debates where it's like kind of just things are made up on the fly. This is a, the, the term debate is used, but we're using the sense of debate leagues, which involves lengthy research, um, putting together research in a specific way, tying that research to philosophical frameworks, a very specific type of argumentation. So we want to bring a level of sophistication to debate, to sick topics and sick adjacent topics that I think will make, make things relevant for kids growing up and kind of, as a lot of kids go into high school, college, start their professional journeys, kind of start their academic journeys, get more in an in-depth understanding of the world, can tie that back to Sikhi easily versus Sikhi just, you know, their exposure to Sikhi just being something, oh, I did, I went to a camp several years ago, but I don't really know how that ties into my current context. So, um, yeah. Great. Great. Thank you both. I think that Something that's really unique with Vat Vat is that pursuing of truth, and we're not here just to, you know, see who has the best argument, but really what we can take away from this. Um, the next uh, next question is also for Osman, um, focused around debate, as you hinted to. Um, so this is a debate question, uh, competition focused on Lincoln Douglas debating. Um, and so can you tell us a little bit more about what that entails and how it will be incorporated into Vat Vat, and then also how that works with a discussion of Sikh principles and ideas, how that kind of plays into everything. Yeah, sure. So Lincoln Douglas, um, so in general, um, when, you, when you look at the high school and college debate formats, um, these are typically for high schoolers and college kids just because you need a certain level of, it, it, it requires certain, you have to actually, it's certain level of intellect. It's, it's pretty hard. It's not just like you can just come up with in grade school and stuff. Um, so it, it's pretty rigorous, I would say, too. But there's multiple kind of debate formats. Some people do speech, congressional. So Lincoln Douglas, it's named after the series of debates that uh, Abraham Lincoln, who was not president at the time, um, but I think just a senator from Illinois, and uh, Stephen Douglas had uh, over a lot of moral topics in the 1800s. Uh, these topics revolved around slavery, a lot around slavery, but a lot around like the moral contents of slavery and kind of that back and forth. And so that that's always been the focus of Lincoln Douglas. So Lincoln Douglas is within the debate formats. It's really focused on moral frameworks. So that's something we're going to teach to students as well. Um, and it, it's not just like, OK, you know, we want to do we want, we are the side that is the best side morally. No, like there's different ways to evaluate morality. There's different. And that's kind of kind of leaning into what we're saying here is we believe in kind of positivity on both sides. Both sides are trying to do whether well, there's, there's a pro and a con that are, those are just named for a specific type of resolution. But both sides are actually trying to achieve the maximum morality through a specific moral framework. Um, so coming back to it, uh, the reason we picked Lincoln Douglas for sick type debates is because, I mean, sick key is a phil philosophy. Right. And it, it, I think with Sikhi, we are always considering, it, for example, some types of debates are more, more about policy considerations, like what a government should pursue. But as six, we're trying to see, like, are, we're trying to apply moral frameworks. It's good to apply moral frameworks to Sikh teachings and back and forth, have a little bit of that. 
So I think it was a really nice fit that way. But we're also adapting elements from other debate uh, formats as needed. For example, Lincoln Douglas is 1v1 usually, but the debate formats were thinking 2v2. Um, so we're, we're kind of using that as a basis, but it's taking, borrowing what we need. But it's also uh, the benefit of using it as a basis is that we have a very structured way of um, building arguments, building cases, and also judging. So judging is based on a very specific structured way of assigning points, uh, following flow charts for how, how arguments flow and stuff. And so this is why we thought I thought Lincoln Douglas, uh, we, we all thought Lincoln Douglas was a good fit for the VOD Revad pro, Revad program. Great, thank you for giving us a little more insight into that. Uh, next question is for Dibjot. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what would, would you would say the top three benefits are of getting involved in this program? Yeah, definitely. Um, you've caveated at three, so I will stick to that. I think there are many, many things that I could list out. Um, first thing that comes to mind is the professional development piece, just given what Usman shared. This is this debate program is grounded in Lincoln debate, uh, Lincoln Douglas debate uh, format, and it's going to be grounded in those fundamentals. And so you will both have the opportunity to learn and practice the steps to build, craft, and defend an argument within that framework. And getting the chance not to just debate over any question, but moral questions as Usman was hinting at, and you know, learning the skills to navigate um, and approach uh, difficult questions or delicate topics um, will be really, really helpful. Um, you know, other sort of uh, benefits that come to mind are public speaking, uh, written communication, critical thinking, uh, logic construction, argumentation, uh, good research skills, um, I could go on. Uh, so so that, that, that's, that's one bucket that jumps out. I think second, which we were talking about earlier, um, is this program hopefully will allow us all to meaningfully engage with our Sikh Kajana. And so uh, for those who've had the chance to review our website, uh, we're, we're really excited that the questions, the way we'll be uh, posing uh, these arguments or framing these arguments will allow or ask of our participants to engage with uh, political, sick political, uh, or excuse me, sick historical, uh, theological, sociopolitical sources. Um, sources are texts that many of us, most of us, or I'll speak at least from uh, on my behalf, I uh, may not engage in um, normally w without a little extra push. And so, you know, thinking of uh, books like Six in History uh, by Bai Sangat Singh, for example, or looking up a word in the Mohan Kosh, for example. Um, others that, uh, that, that, that we will uh, be relying upon and, and using. Uh, we're developing a really rigorous uh, curriculum right now, uh, but based in some of these texts, uh, I think will be really, really cool. And, and, and more importantly, all of the questions that we'll have will have a nijor or a takeaway at the end. Um, based on the learnings that we have craft or we have you know, the insights that we share during the debate, um, how can we make that practical? How can we make that applicable uh, in our daily lives? So the second piece is engaging with our Sikh Kajana um, in a practical and fun way. And then finally, uh, I would just highlight is the community aspect. And so most obviously, or you have this really cool opportunity to meet work alongside Sikh youth from across the country, folks you may have never met before. Um, that's a really, really exciting opportunity. Uh, in, in the US at least, there's limited avenues for that, um, specifically with topics focused around uh, Sikh youth. And so this is a really cool way to do that. Um, and second, I think more broadly, you are going to be joining uh, a network, uh, a, a really powerful and talented network. So I mentioned the Sikh uh, the student participants, um, but we have a really smart and motivated team behind the scenes, both uh, at Vod Vod that are driving the operations. Uh, the three of us here are going to do our best amongst uh, some of the others, uh, the debate, uh, the two of us, the debate coaches. Um, we have our social media strategist here. A um, lot, lot of people putting in uh, their background and experiences towards making this a reality. Um, we have a Just Punjabi uh, partnership who's going to be broadcasting this a debate tournament um, in a televised way with really high quality production um, and the list goes on. And so this is this is a debate uh, show at its core, um, but there's so many additional layers that we're really, really excited 
uh, to have our participants uh, immerse in ourselves. So in summary, kind of the, the three big pieces are the professional development piece, engaging with the Sikhajana um, and the community aspect. Cool, thank you. Um, now we're gonna head on to the next category about getting involved, um, how our audience members can actually take the next step and uh, also learn a little bit more about what uh, their time in the program would entail. Um, so this question is for Divjot. Can you tell us how the program is structured um, from the application process to the coaching season um, and then also the televised portion? Um, a little more short and sweet, I guess, because we're running out of time here. Yeah, absolutely. So most of this is, or all of this information is on the website, nishgam.tv slash debate show. Um, but in the spirit of the question, we'll give a high level overview. So first and foremost, applications are open now. Uh, they are due August 23rd and the application link is in the chat. You can also go to bit.ly backslash VVV2425 to apply. We encourage everyone to apply, even if you're a little bit interested. Um, those will be on the third. Um, at the 1st of September, we will announce our teams. And so between the applications being due and the teams being announced, uh, our team will be going through the applications, conducting interviews, and shortlisting the team. Uh, the, uh, the group of students that will be participating um, in the debate show uh, coaching. Speaking of which, that will start the following week on September 7th and run for eight weeks, two months, uh, where it's rigorous content curriculum that's being developed. Students will learn from the debate coaches, uh, all the techniques, practice argumentation, um, and, and get ready for the tournament itself. Uh, the tournament will be in uh, November, December timeframe. Um, and we'll follow sort of the prelims, semis, and then the final televised format. Uh, Great, thank you. Uh, next question is for Usman. We're talking a little bit about the time commitment and what you can expect um, once you sign up. Um, can you just give a little more insight into that? Um, once, uh, let's say I was applying, once I fill out the application, how can I expect um, the work to look like? So I mentioned this in the FAQs. Uh, we we asked for a five hour time commitment, um, just because to be specific, uh, coaching each week will be two hours. But I think in debate, and the students will realize this once they're in the heat of it. You want to spend time. Uh, just per, there's a lot of stuff that you just have to do on your own. Uh, like we will give in coaching, I will give the tool, kids the tools to how to do build a case. But for example, when they're building a case, you need to research. You need to build your own case. You need to you know, kind of construct that and honestly that time flies by because you also are in, I think you as a debater are incentivized to build the best case you can find like niche arguments that kind of fit into the kind of overall argument that you're building so um yeah that's kind of the time commitment we're asking um but i, I definitely think just there we have the application so we encourage people to apply um you know just just at, just kind of answer some questions we just wanted to see like what are your motives like kind of what we're not really also we one thing is we're not really looking for um, people there's no prerequisite like knowledge of Sikhi or anything that people need to have before they join um, we're, we're going to teach a little bit of that but my purpose is really not to teach people about Sikhi um, we're going to go a bit into like the history of debate within Sikhi and stuff but um, the, what we're really interested in doing is giving kids the tools to research on their own for life on learning about Sikhi is something master Sikhi that something that I think almost no one has uh, it's something that you do it's a life skill but if we can just teach you how to you know do some things but we want to see like you know people who are willing to make the time commitment and people who are consistent with that um and honestly it is a it is a decent t uh chunk of time but it's time well spent uh you know you're learning a very critical life skill that can be applied in a bunch of ways and there's you know we're gonna we also want to we're at so we have the partnership with just punjabi and that's gonna be a very high quality production and we want to make sure that you know the kids who are there um they're really you know ready to show their debate skills to a huge audience um and, and show off you know what they've learned and you can you know you can do a, you can learn a lot in eight weeks if you put that time in so um yeah definitely definitely thank, thank you for that uh next we'll jump to uh Divjot. Um, what kind of students should apply to this program? Um, and do you have any tips for students applying? And um, really, what can they highlight in their application to have the best chance? Yeah, definitely. So we encourage all youth uh, in grades 9 through 12 uh, in the US. You have to be in the, in the US 
interested in engaging with some of the safety focused content that we've discussed today um, to apply. So it's very, very open ended. Um, you don't, as Usman just shared, don't need to have any uh, background um, necessarily um, or even debate experience. And so uh, that's the first part of your question. In terms of uh, points of advice, just, just a couple of things uh, for, from the team. First, just be authentic, be yourself, give an accurate representation of your background, um, but don't overdo it, don't overstate it. Um, we are looking for a diverse, uh, diverse experiences, diverse backgrounds, and so really just to share what you have to offer. Second, we really encourage everyone to read our materials. We've, our, the team has spent lots of time uh, developing the constitution, the website, um, the mission, you know, which outlines our mission statement, our vision, core values. Really take the time to read all of it. Um, it's, it's, it, sh it shouldn't take too long, um, but it has some really good material and background as it relates to what this program is about beyond kind of what we've discussed today. Um, and I think it will be very helpful to base your application within. Um, that kind of dovetails into my next point. Take some time on your application. We have lots and lots of interest from across the country. And so uh, just to get your to have make sure your application stands out. Make sure you do spend some time on uh, the three short answer questions. That will probably take the most amount of time um, to prepare a, a really nice answer for that. And then finally, I would just say is reach out with any questions. We've listed an email address um, if folks have questions at the Nishkam TV um, uh, account. Uh, send us a note uh, and we'll be we'll, we'll get back to you uh, very soon yeah just to echo that um, again to look at our website you can go to nishgom.tv slash debate show I also sent that earlier in the chat um, and we'll plug that again at the end um, and if you have any questions always uh, feel free to DM this uh, nishgom TV Instagram account and we'll get back to you um, but without uh, further ado we're gonna open it up to audience questions um, those all the questions we had for our debate coaches um, so if you have any questions, just go ahead and drop them in the chat and we'll get to them. Um, and they can be about, about anything, anything from um, getting to know our debate coaches, more about the application, or even about the program and how that will play out. Yeah, one of the questions that I've gotten separately that I think would be really awesome if Usman, you could address, you just talk a little bit more, and I know it's under development right now, uh, but the debate curriculum and the coaching sessions uh, at a very, very high level. Um, how are you uh, thinking that we're going to be uh, running this? Uh, you are really, you're the, the, the championing, kind of driving this effort. So I'll, I'll let you take, a, uh, let, you, let you answer this um, because I think you'd be, you'd be best suited. Yeah, so um, basically the first, the first kind of, we can call it segment of the curriculum is devoted to kind of teaching students about the relevance of debate within Sikh history, like you kind of mentioned, uh, you know, the history of, you know, the development of the Sikh Rath Mariyadda. There's a lot of other instances uh, within Sikh history where actually debate comes up and or kind of these these techniques that I'm going to teach, not just debate, but, you know, researching, formulating an argument, a case, you know, arguing your case. Um, these things come up within history. And I think these are kind of forgotten over time. Um, but I, I kind of want to just give that as kind of like a basis and it's kind of a lifelong inspiration kind of like a lot of the people these individuals who are involved in this uh, are kind of my intellectual in inspiration so like some stuff about the Singh Sabha movement uh, the formation of the Pant Prakash written text um, you know talking about the gurus and how uh, Guru Nanak Dev Ji wrote this uh, well recited the Siddh Gosht and some of their you know discourses over their travels so that's kind of the first leg right and we're going to discuss that the second leg is going to be going to lincoln douglas debate curriculum and within that there's kind of like like you know for the first part that's more for the students that's like their lifelong thing that i would really want them to hold on to that's kind of like the mission statement that's when they get okay what is the kind of significance of what we're doing within a sick context the second part is okay you know we have to make you guys ready for to debate against each other and so with that it's just going to be a curriculum kind of what they teach you know any, any de new debater in high school but with a sick touch in the sense that for example in lincoln douglas we learn moral frameworks so the teaching basic moral frameworks such as utilitarianism deontology and also connecting that with sick sick examples um because we want what we're doing is we're always we're adding like a sick touch to, to it's not really Lincoln Douglas per se we're adding it we're changing things around it's inspired by it loosely but we're we're changing things around so teaching kids what a value criterion is or what a moral framework is 
teaching kids how to research, how to cut cards, which is like basically how to cut evidence, recite it, um, good oratory techniques, teaching kids how to kind of identify logical fallacies, um, and teaching kids. That, and a lot of what's going to happen is um, ultimately we can teach students everything and they're not really going to be ready until they have practiced several times. So doing a lot of the near the tail end is just going to be practicing. We're going to be giving them topics. So we're going to start off with like different topics. Our, our first topics that we're going to do in class, I remember when we ran in 2020, uh, it was, for example, we ran it with should standardized testing be banned in schools. Um, so like stuff that's more relatable and then we're going to get more into the deeper philosophical stuff uh, as the show goes on. And then we're just going to keep on running practice rounds. And then by the time at the end of week weeks, students will have kind of that inspiration from the first one, from the first kind of set of curriculum, and then a deeper knowledge of how debate runs in general, and for, to be able to actually go on stage, run, have those debates, and eventually, you know, go to the final rounds and have that final uh, debate as well. So yeah, that's kind of how the curriculum structured. Um, yeah. Awesome, thanks for that overview. Um, we'll officially uh, turn it over to closing thoughts now. So I wanna give both of you a chance just to um, say any last things or any last tips, closing words, anything like that um, to our audience. Um, well, we can start with Ibjo. Sure, I will say two quick things. First, we will be having an information session that will be hosted on Zoom. So a lot of the way that we're getting out this program is through Ridwaras and Gurmat schools um, across the country. But say you've stumbled across this video or the Nishkam TV account um, and heard about this program in a way that um, is more organic and you'd still like to learn a little bit more about the application process, that information session will be happening uh, within the next couple of days. So just keep your eyes peeled out, uh, peeled for that. And then the, only, the other thing I would just close with is just uh, apply even if you have the smallest uh, uh, amount of interest. We encourage uh, all experiences. You don't need any uh, prior experience, but just a passion to learn um, and commitment. And th that's that's really important to our team. This is all uh, volunteer being run uh, by volunteers. It's volunteer based. Seva underpins uh, our, uh, our collaboration. And so if you are committed to learning, that's what we're looking for. That's 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 one of the things that really stands out to us. So, uh, encourage uh, everyone to apply. Great, Osman. Same question for you. Yeah. So, uh, same thing. I I think one thing is, um, you know, for share this with friends. You know, share it wide. Um, Gurdwara schools. Anyone who's kind of tangentially interested. Um, we, you know, don't. I, I agree with. Uh, they've joked, just apply. It doesn't really matter. Like, even if you say, ah, you know, I don't really want to be able to, like, debate is not only for lawyers, right? Like, it's for people who are in medicine, it's for people who are, I'm in computer science, like, I'm an engineer. I honestly don't even really talk to people most of my day. But debate still helps me just in terms of giving, it's just a very, it's, um, you know, it's, an, it's a very, very intellectual extracurricular that I think, it just gives you lifelong skills. It's fun. You make friends, you know, so like they've just said, we want to see that commitment, but we're also going to make this fun. Uh, you know, we're going to make this engaging. We're going to make this something that you are really like, you know, a lifelong thing that you can take with you uh, and apply in, in a broad sense, you know. So um, definitely share, share wide. Um, and we look forward to reading your applications and, and getting to know you as applicants better and hopefully you getting to know us um, better as a team as we work through this first season. So, yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah, thank you guys. I'll just have a few quick closing thoughts myself, um, and thank you all for joining us again. Um, just to echo what Divjot said, um, our virtual Zoom session will be coming up soon, and we'll update you on our social media, so please make sure to follow along there. Um, you can find us at Nishkam TV on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Um, we'll have some interesting content coming out on YouTube as well, so don't miss that. Um, and then if you have any further, further questions, um, you can also email um, myself at uh, nanki, N-A-N-A-K-I, at nishkam.tv, or again, as we mentioned, DM the Instagram account. Um, and then, yeah, we look forward to seeing your applications. Um, again, really encourage everyone to apply. And thank you guys again for joining us today. Bye, Kuchika Kafka. Bye, Kuchiki Fateh. Bye-bye.
So, like, right. Thank you, guys. Bye.